hi there welcome back now i've been wanting to create an automation around my snail mail box for a while now and the problem was that because it's a metal box it's very hard to get signals like zigbee or wi-fi or bluetooth to be sent out through that metal faraday cage until i came across this awesome product from yolink it's running on something called LoRa. LoRa stands for Long Range Communication. So it's pushing very small packets of information over the airwaves, but they give you a much greater range and they have a greater penetration for things like steel boxes. So let's have a look at how this device works. So having a look at LoRa, it looks like they've got a whole range of different devices from cameras to temperature and humidity sensors to door sensors um, and then on even to things like water control devices so i decided to go with two door sensor pack and the hub as a starter kit now bear in mind that this device is communicating via LoRa to these different sensors and then it's got wi-fi connecting into your home now this is a cloud-based integration i did see online that they were launching a locally based hub which was a lot more expensive but it doesn't seem as if this one is available at the moment so having a look at the hub itself we've got three indicator leds over here we've got a plus and a minus this is for the volume of the speaker and we've got a pairing button um, you've got a usb a power connector on the back there and over here we've got our pairing code and our speaker grill so this device does have a speaker which can be used to create sounds so having a look at the door sensor um, it's reasonably large due to the fact that it's got two triple a batteries inside here it's got a pairing button over here with a status led and then we've got a qr code for pairing it up with the app um, on the back and side nothing specific on the underside over here we have a small screw which when taken out allows you to slide off the back case and we can have a look inside so you can see the majority of the device is the batteries but then we've got this yolink chip over here we've got an antenna for the LoRa so yeah let's have a look at how we can pair these devices up with the app connect it to home assistant and then install it into our post box setting the device up was super easy all i did was scan the qr code in the guide which got me to download the yolink app once the app was installed i just created a username and a password next up it runs you through this little tutorial showing you how the app works but it's pretty self-explanatory so i didn't worry about that first thing you need to do is scan the qr code on the underside of the hub you can select a name for the hub and a room if you like and then bind the device next up you need to connect to your wi-fi you press and hold the set button for five seconds wait for the blue light to flash, and then you can connect your wi-fi connect your phone to the wi-fi hotspot that has been created now you can select your wi-fi signal from the list and insert your password there we go the hub's all online now all we need to do is add the sensor adding the device is super simple open up the app scan the qr code on the door sensor give it a name and a room if you like and then bind the device to add this device into home assistant we go to settings devices and services add integration we search for the yolink integration what it will do now is it will go along here and it will ask you to authorize it so i go yes i confirm i now need to log in to the yo smart using the username and the password that i created inside of the app it's now all linked up now that it's in home assistant you can see we've got our battery measurement we've got the door whether it's open or closed and we also have a signal strength which is really good to be able to see what sort of signal you're getting from the device next up i created an automation to advise me when mail had to be delivered so all i do was i have a look at the sensor and when the door is opened i go along and i adjust the boolean so i created a helper 
of type toggle which is a boolean sensor and i added that in over here and basically what it does the moment the little door on my mailbox is opened it toggles this device so that i know that mail's been delivered it also then goes along and sends a message to my iphone saying that i've got mail so having a look at the mailbox that I purchased, I did need to find a mailbox that just didn't have a slot where mail could go in because then there was no door that was going to be open by the postman. So I found this one with a little flap that the postman needs to open in order to insert the mail. And then what I did was there was a little bit of fiddling around of getting it positioned correctly. But you can see here that I've got the magnet over here and then I've got the other part of the sensor on the inside of the mailbox and this is working really well. So this has been a really cool project. Now the reason that I needed this device was that I tried this mailbox sensor using a Zigbee as well as a 433 megahertz signal but the signal was not able to penetrate through the metal box of the post box. Now I could have got a wooden post box but I quite liked the metal one that I'd found. So this device was absolutely perfect for this because the LoRa was able to penetrate through that metal and reach my hub quite easily. Even though it was pretty close with other sensors it wouldn't work. Now these devices are also designed for working long range. Apparently they can work at up to 400 meters. Um, that is line of sight, so unrestricted. Now it was very difficult for me to actually test a line of sight because from where the hub is, when I start walking around in my neighborhood, there's a lot of houses and things in the way which would stop this from working. So I will attach you a copy of an email or a link to a video down below in the description down here of another YouTuber who's tested it using a drone and found that this worked fantastically well. So I would honestly give a big, big plus to these sensors. Yolink seems to be an absolutely cool manufacturer making quality devices that work on long range. So long range could be that you need to reach a gate that is far away on your property or you want a temperature humidity sensor or any type of sensor out in an area that's not close to the house and whereby you need a long range signal. Well that's all for now. Please let me know what your thoughts are about this. If you've done a mailbox project, let me know how you've done it. I'm specifically interested to know from people that did not use the little flap like I've got where it lifts up, but another way where, for example, you've got the slot and you actually need to sensor. Um, I did try once before using a vibration sensor didn't find this to be very effective. Um, so I suppose there could be other ways perhaps of doing perhaps one of those sort of laser sensors where as the mail goes in, it blocks the little laser light and triggers it in that method. There's lots of ways of doing it, but I'd be really interested to hear from you how you've done it. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.